Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heal vs. Babyface. <laughs> the uh, Netflix Resident Evil series hasn't gone down particularly well with critics or audiences alike. I think on Ron and Tomatoes at the moment, it's around about 53% or 50% for critics and about 22% for audience, Metacritic, which we'll see in a moment, 53 for critics, 1.8 for the audience. Now, of course, this is based off the video game series Resident Evil. As we know it in the West, in the East, in Japan, where the whole thing is actually created, the franchise is called Biohazard. Always has been. So, Japan <laughs> has started to react themselves to the live-action Netflix Resident Evil series. And let's just say uh, the audience reaction isn't very positive at all. And as you can see from this article's title, Japanese fans criticize Netflix's Resident Evil, quote, more like politically correct hazard instead of biohazard. Why I had to explain that beginning just in case some people didn't know. I'm not trying to patronize anyone. It's just the way it is. So let's get into this. Netflix just kicked off its new Resident Evil series and is anticipated, initially expected, sorry. The show has been scoring poorly amongst actual fans, including those in Japan, who are generally more forgiving when it comes to live action adaptations. Since Netflix's new Resident Evil show debuted, July 14th, it is scored low by critics and users on Metacritic. While there are plenty of shows and movies that score lower with critics and higher with the general audience, it wasn't the case for Resident Evil scores as low as 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, and 53% critics as well. The Netflix CGI animated Resident Evil Infinite Darkness also had low scores. Oh, I but uh, they were still higher with a 50% rating from critics and a 39% audience score. Yeah, I mean, I would have given Infinite Darkness 6 out of 10. So yeah, 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 it's probably there or thereabouts. Some suggest the low scores could be due to the changes made to Albert Wesker's character, who, of course, has been race-changed for this show, and yet they're still trying to in some aspects, follow the story from the video games when it's convenient for them. But we get to see Albert Wesker. It's complicated. Basically, the Albert Wesker in the show isn't Albert Wesker. It's a clone of Albert Wesker. There's multiple Albert Wesker clones. But the OG Albert Wesker, who wants to cosplay as Blade in the show for some reason, uh looks exactly like them because they're all clones so albert wesker in this universe when i say this universe this version is black however they're trying to adhere to the storyline where he gets killed in resident evil 5 but he's white why didn't you just make a new unique character i have said this in videos and my reviews of the show over and over again you have lance reddick who is a great, great actor. You could have created an, an OG character for the show with his daughters and gone about it that way. But you didn't. You didn't. You co-opted Albert Wesker because you wanted that name's uh, brand uh, recognizable brand recognition that's the word i was looking for to try and push the show to legitimize it when you weren't doing anything to basically legitimize resident evil as a whole and boy was there some holes in this plenty of plot holes okay let's carry on <laughs> so here's some quotes from the uh, japanese audience I'm watching Netflix's Biohazard right now, but it is politically correct hazard as expected. It's such a waste to go with Wesker again 
when you're going with a new approach to the story exactly now don't get me wrong the story of the show is dog shit it's written by children who think that adults are kids and kids are adults probably because they are woke far leftists and therefore they infantilize everything including themselves and remember folks 10 is the new 16 according to the cw and this felt like a cw show the last time cg anime resident evil on netflix was also pretty iffy that's referring to the uh, previous one all i have to say is netflix resident evil is honestly no fun at all i turned off my brain to watch it and i still had enough this is absolutely i mean i can completely relate to this person i'm currently reviewing it with jane theory with five episodes done out of eight i've watched it all so i know the full story we just need to record the various uh reviews but i was saying to jane and i think i might have said it in a stream uh but i was saying to jane that i was struggling to get through the show and it isn't wasn't meant as a joke and it wasn't meant as a little you know funny for somebody and it wasn't meant to be hyperbolic i legitimately struggled to get through the show it was god awful the characters are horrible nobody's likable there's barely a story so it was like why am i here for the musical interludes that seem to drop in every now and again for some reason don't know uh but i struggled to get through the whole show <clears throat> i started watching the netflix resident evil show and i've never felt the this isn't it feeling so hard because of the influence of political correctness i had to stop watching and i even liked the wesker 2 uh i'm gonna come out and say this folks uh this show is a uh, very anti-male uh but particularly very anti-white male it's dripping with misery and bigotry uh to elevate their uh new cast of characters there isn't a single white male of of any import in the show whatsoever uh whenever we get to see uh umbrella guys get killed uh they are for the most part for the vast majority just white guys getting murdered off uh yeah and the show is so blatant with that in actual fact there's no black male that has any authority in this film what about wesker what about wesker's boss all of them are complete and utterly under the thumb of a woman wesker can't even be a father uh in this show his daughters are just horrible to him vile to him and we don't see anything in the show whatsoever that would uh initiate such a sense of hatred from these daughters to their father in actual fact he seems to be a doting uh loving caring father as much as he can be for his work yeah he's got to go work a lot he works for umbrella but his daughters jade they're just vile characters and when they grow up they become even more vile characters they're not protagonists there isn't a protagonist in the whole show it's just full of antagonists and male hatred misandry <coughs> and particularly directed as i said at white males and i think that is a purposely done element in the show the new netflix resident evil drama is such a waste of time i dumped it already correct i was checking out the new netflix uh, resident evil drama but i couldn't get over how egotistical the female protagonist was that's because she's not a protagonist she doesn't have any of the characteristics of a protagonist maybe an antagonist sure but yes the character is self-centered and selfish throughout when she's a child and even when she's an adult which leads to the deaths of people 
due to her lack of responsibility. And what does she do? She sheds a few tears and then everyone goes, oh, it's all right. It's all right because you're a whammon. You're a whammon of color. So you can get away with it. <coughs> it's pathetic. It, this show is absolutely pathetic. I watched the Netflix Resident Evil, but it was just stressful. The producers don't, just don't get it, do they? All we need for Resident Evil is explore, run away, and escape. Okay? We don't need any of this human drama bullshit. They could have just made a live action revelations and it would have definitely been much more fun. Well, anything that was relating to Resident Evil would have been much more fun. Anything. But it wasn't even related to Resident Evil. Uh, it was some concocted show completely different. The T-Virus is barely talked about zombies are barely in it it's about family fucking dawson's creek drama and oh my god umbrella is now creating a antidepressant because modern day oh my god but it just so happens to be laced with a t-virus and if you take too much of it you'll turn into a zombie hell they even had to shoehorn in the tyrant in the last episode for, for less than, by the way, don't get excited for less than, I think, 15 seconds of screen time, probably 10. Just to make, oh, look, season two, maybe a tyrant. Oh. I heard the Resident Evil show is terrible. Too bad we can't make Japanese movies, but with American money, then we can hold back on the American level political correctness yes it's not just white males like me that whinge and moan about i uh, identity politics and having political ideology crammed into tv shows other countries see it bright as day and they see it bright as day because they don't shove it into their entertainment their entertainment is bizarre it's there to actually entertain its audience and how many times have we said that? Look, I could carry on and carry on. I think you get the drift. Japan mocking the crap out of Netflix's piece of piss, Resident Evil Dawson's Creek. See you in the next video. Bye for now.